Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to start by having a look at the live radar as we do have a lot of heavy precipitation around in the north and west especially. We'll have a look at the weather warnings as we do have a rain warning across western parts of Scotland. We've seen loads of short small warnings coming forth the last sort of 24 hours or so for all this heavy precipitation coming in from the west. We'll then have a look at the UKV looking at the precipitation and temperature over the next five days. We've got a lot of up and down. We've got some very warm weather today, some very unsettled weather in the north and west. And we've got some again, generally cooler, showery weather into the week. And then we'll have a look at the GFS, GM, Eastern DF and the ensembles at the longer term. And again, looking at the ver uh, variety of conditions we do have coming up over the next couple of weeks, there's going to be plenty of cooler and showery weather. Especially if the southeast can't say there's going to necessarily be wet weather, but there will be showers around in the longer term towards the end of the month and start of August. It does look likely we do something, see something more in tune with warm and dry once again. It could be turning even hotter. So remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Again, I'm recording this mid to late morning, and you can see... We do have plenty of showers pushing in from the west at the moment. Again, it is patchy, but where it is occurring, it is pretty heavy and lively at the moment. For the south and the east, towards the London area, it's dry, warm day. Blue, blue skies out there, and most likely we'll be getting up to the mid to high 20s, maybe even 30 degrees by around 3 or 4 p.m. this afternoon. So it could be very warm and very dry in the south and the east, very cool and rainy and unsettled further northwards and west. It's not looking good at all. So we do have a look at those temperatures, again, it is mid-morning, so it's not going to be anything exceptional, but you can already see across the East Anglia, the London area, those temperatures are starting to rise. It's probably going to get up, as I said, towards the mid to high 20s, maybe 30 degrees. Again, we've got a few hot spots further northwards, up towards northeast England, towards the northwest, towards Liverpool, that area, again, is looking pretty warm indeed, but I suspect... If we do see some precipitation and take a cloud there over the course of the afternoon or late morning, we will see those temperatures not rise particularly high. But again, it's that east eastern areas which are going to see the highest temperatures. So if you have a look at the weather warnings, you have a look. We have a rain warning in force from midday today until 9pm this evening. Heavy showers or longer spells of rain with some thunderstorms likely to cause some travel disruption and flooding. Again, high likelihood lower end of the impact scale because again it is generally just some heavier precipitation the extreme amount of precipitation that's required for a yellow rainfall warning will only be seen in a few areas but it's highly likely we do see some impact but lower end of that impact matrix so early showers some heavy over normal iron will give way to some persistent rain again heavy and perhaps thundery at times later this morning and afternoon this rain then moves eastwards into scotland later this afternoon conditions here having also been showery during the morning showers or rain again may also be accompanied by thunder in a few places perhaps more likely this afternoon over northern ireland 10 to 20 millimeters of rain is likely to fall in some places over scotland rain is likely to be heavier with 20 to 30 millimeters likely for some parts and as much as 30 to 50 millimeters in a few spots as well so if we do have a look at the UKV, have a look at those precipitation charts. Now you can see as I'm recording this around 9, 10 a.m. It doesn't look too heavy at the moment, just generally quite a lot of shower activity. But around mid-afternoon, towards 3 p.m., you see very heavy precipitation is moving into the Western Isles. Very, very unsettled there. And that's giving way to that yellow warning for rain. Again, you can see some brighter colours there, some reds mixing in, and that is the potential for some thundery weather as well. But you can see across the south and the east, you can see clearer skies, and it will be very warm there. As we every Sunday evening, eventually the weather front that is uh, is sort of giving way for this unsettled conditions will move through the southeast. So we will see some thicker cloud and maybe a bit of precipitation in the southeast over the course of the late evening, and it will go showery towards the London area, East Anglia, Southeast England, where it has been so dry recently. But, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's going to be any real persistent rain, just some showery conditions. So it can either be hit and miss whether you see any rainfall from this. Those showery conditions do persist into Monday afternoon and into Tuesday. They do persist as well before dying out a little bit towards the afternoon. But still a few showers around. It shouldn't be too bad, but it will be cooler with upper air conditions dropping a little bit. As we head into Wednesday, again, showery outlook, nothing too crazy, but generally dry still and through Thursday dry as well but again quite cloudy and quite cool. 
Again, if we do have a look at those max temperatures, you can see this afternoon those temperatures peaking around 30 to 31 degree mark in the far east, but widely across central areas, southern areas, getting towards the mid to high 20s, maybe 26 to 27 degrees, 28 to 29 in a few spots, and again, that local 30 or 31 across East Anglia, towards that Norwich area. As we head to, to tomorrow, though, you see those temperatures are not all too great for many areas. The cold front is slowly sweeping through with much cooler air, but still maybe 25 degrees in the London area, maybe towards East Anglia. But as we head through to Tuesday, all areas are going to be slightly cooler, back towards average conditions for this time of year, back towards 20 to 22 degree highs for most of England and high teens elsewhere. And that's generally average conditions for July. As we head towards Wednesday, again, that pattern continues low 20s quite widely and as we head towards thursday once again getting towards low 20s um, as well and you can see why we're seeing this because of the upper air conditions are not too warm around mid single digits even cooler earlier this week perhaps getting down to even freezing at age 50 hpa in some spots which is pretty chilly for this time of year so if we do have a look at the, uh, at the GFS operational run, so you can see that low pressure running in at the moment, and that's giving us our unsettled conditions. And once it pulls out to our east, a northerly flow comes in, and that is the cooler, showery weather we're going to be seeing this week. Beyond that, high pressure builds back in, but we continue to see lows trying to run in. But as they do, they could check up warmer air for the far south and east. And that's why I say it could be dry and warm in the south and the east for low pressure continues to push in. And it does look like you'll go unsettled for all, at least for a period of time. So if you're in the south and you're looking towards some rain, it does look likely you'll see some over the next week or two. How significant that rainfall is, how much of a dent it will put in the deficit we have at the moment, that is yet to be determined. It all depends on the convection outlook, whether you see any little um, uh, little systems, bits of instability, stuff like that, that could pep up the showers, turning to longer spells of rain, but we'll only be able to really tell those a couple days out, really. So beyond that, we do generally see westerly flow, and again, does look like local pressure will be running in, so it does look like there will be some unsettling conditions, and you look at those upper air temperatures, there's a lot of cool air feeding into the North Atlantic, so it will be generally cool in the north, with cooler periods in the south, but also plenty of warmer periods, because ahead of the low pressure system, we're always going to be dragging up some warmer air um, up from the south ahead of the low. So if we do now have a look at the EGM, see how that does compare over the next 10 days, again, Low pressure in at the moment, high pressure toppling back in, but we do see a westerly flow pushing in. But more high pressure influence, definitely in the south and the east, and that will drag out warmer air before low pressure does try and run in, but it sort of disintegrates as it does. So we do run back and put on the age of GHPA temperatures. Again, you can see those pretty warm upper air temperatures towards 10 to 15 degrees at age of 50 HPA. And again, that's why I say it's very possible we see high 20s, maybe 30 degrees over the next 10 days, at least for a few days in the south and the east. So very possible we do see some heat return, just simply because those lows are riding just to our north and west, allowing hot air to get dragged up from our south. If we do have a look at the ECMWF operational run, see how that does compare. Again, low pressure in around at the moment. High pressure toppling back in, but we continue to see lows coming in with a barrage from the west. But high pressure continues to control, especially over the top and to our east. Again, low pressure just squeezing in, so it could give some unsettled conditions at times. If you look at those upper air temperatures, they are pretty warm still in the south. So we could still be seeing mid to high 20s, maybe 30 degrees in a few spots in the south. So we're never going to be too far away from warmer, dry weather. It all depends on how these lows do interact with that high pressure we have to our south. And whether they do drag up warmer air from the south or southwest, or whether they drag us more west to northwesterly, which would be cooler, more showery conditions. But we'll have to see exactly how it does play out. At the moment, I think most of the ensemble members, as we'll see in a second, are veering more towards the warmer route from the south. But we'll just have to see how it does play out. So if you have a look at the ensemble, as you can see, warm upper air temperatures at the moment. That's why we're seeing mid to high 20s, maybe 30 degrees in the east today. Dropping below average for most of the middle of this week. And that's why temperatures are back towards average, maybe slightly below average in a few spots. And then longer term towards the end of the month and start of August, generally warmer upper air conditions. A couple degrees above average, so mid to high 20s. And some going very warm towards 14, 15, 16 degrees at 850 HPA. So really nice indeed and in the longer term back towards average so the london area it generally does look quite slightly above average and quite um quite unsettled at times we are seeing some precipitation so i do expect there to be some showers but the extent of those showers is yet to be determined exactly as i said it all depends on the interaction of the low pressure systems 
If you do see the two meters temperatures, you can see that again there is a bit of a curve, warm today, cooler towards next week, and then turning warmer again for the last days of the month and start of August, back towards the mid to high 20s, maybe even touching on 30 degrees. If you have a look at the ECMWF ensembles, um, they haven't fully run yet, but you can see for the first 11 days they do follow a similar trajectory, warm at the moment, turning cooler, and then returning above average once again towards the start of August, back towards sort of 10 to 15 degrees at 850 HPA, which would be very much symbolic of mid to high 20s. So warm, dry conditions could be returning to the south. You could even call it heat, um, as I said, but there are precipitation spikes. So there will be showers around, but the extent of the severity and the longevity of that precipitation is very much up in the air. And again, look at those two meters temperatures, you can see how towards the first days of August, it could rise back into the high 20s. So it could be very nice. If you are looking forward to some warmer, dry weather once again, uh, especially in the south, I mean, if you are very much a fan of the heat, it could be some proper heat returning. Maybe other than today, of course, could get in quite warm. It could be returning towards the end of the month and start of August. But next week, if you're looking for some much more showery weather, some cooler weather, still pleasant though, still a lot of sunshine around, next week is going to be pretty good for you. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you are in the north and west today with all that precipitation around, do stay safe out there. There is going to be a lot of rainfall, some very heavy precipitation. And yes, it's not likely to cause significant flooding or anything, um, especially because it's been pretty dry recently. But a lot of visibility when you're in the car, things like that, that can be uh, that can be quite detrimental. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you stay safe. And I'll see you again for another video soon.